I'm Christian Lemichka for Country Music News International and here we have two guys, the band calls Low Cash Cowboy. Yeah. So and I met these guys last year at CRS too and believe me they are fun and they like to tell us something about their new projects. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on right now. Uh, this is a really big week for us. We're songwriters as well as singers and uh, we've been writing songs for our publishing company Sony ATV for about three years now and uh, the very first song that we ever wrote uh, and turned into Sony we turned in in 2009 and Keith Urban picked it up and said he was going to record it and sure enough he did and then he put it on his album the Get Closer album that just came out uh, not too long ago and uh, and then he released it as his fourth single so our song which is called You Gonna Fly just uh, hit number one this week on all the music charts and it's our very first number one that we've ever been part of so thank you to Keith Urban and Capitol Records and uh, we co-wrote it with Jaron Johnston who is a, a rock band singer with uh, American Bang and it just uh, it's been an unreal ride so the last 18 weeks when that song became a single that was the beginning of the the wild ride straight to the top so it's cool. been fun well what happened since that time because wow. the spotlight to at you is now just so big. It's it's crazy, man. I mean, it, it you know we work so hard for this moment, and this moment happens. You know, hopefully, our moment will happen with our original. I mean, our original stuff too. But you know, we couldn't give up, given such a great you know artist like Keith Urban for him not to cut it, man. And he said he wanted to. It was a it was an honor, man. It was amazing just to have him even like it. So. You know, and since then, man, you know, we're getting a lot of good rights. Uh, puts a lot of integrity behind our music and our uh, the low cash cowboy thing. And we have an album coming out this year, and another song coming out in May. So it looks pretty good, man. Sounds like that Keith Urban will next time open for you the concert. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I just got a call from him. I, I think that's what he was asking yeah, about. But I didn't check yet. I haven't checked the voicemail. Well, <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, that I think there's more. I hear yeah. there's so good news, so that's not yeah. only the one, or? Well, you know, there's there's also, a, we can't say exactly who yet, but another major artist uh, picked up one of our songs and recorded it already. And that's called a cut in Nashville. If, uh, if somebody picks up your song and records it, it's called a cut. So we got a very major cut in the works, and uh, all that's left now is to make sure, or, or pray, that it lands on the album, because you never know. And then, uh, and then the next step is to pray that it becomes a single. But we're hearing really good things about this song and this artist, and uh, and he's a big uh, uh, icon as well, just like uh, Keith Urban. And so it's going to be exciting to see that happen later on this year. So, folks, uh, here's the question: Is it Gav Brooks? Might be. Well, we will see. <laughs> we will see. We will see. We don't answer this question now. Um, if you want to. See be the first who get this information. Right. Who is this major artist who cuts one of their songs? Mm. Stay here at Country Music News International or check out the Low Cash Cowboys at lowcashcowboys.com or on Facebook or Twitter. Check it all out. Our cameraman is sending us a message. It's kind of like Regis and Kelly, where about two weeks you're going to hear it. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's more big news. In two weeks, we're leaving for our very first European tour. So, folks, European tour, low cash cowboys, visit them when they're in your town. Have a good one, talk to you soon. See you.